Merville. I'm the program director of Maker Fair, and I work with um, producers of Maker Fair all around the world. Well, my role as program director of Maker Fair is to share what we've learned um, through building a pretty successful um, platform for makers. Well, I'm seeing the evolution and growth of the maker community all around the world. So as these shows um, gain, you know, sort of build a presence in, in their communities and gain audience and gain momentum, um, we are chronicling um, the growth both in terms of the numbers of makers that are participating, but also trends around um, level of school participation, for example. Um, the diversification of stakeholders in the maker fair. So if it's a museum, but then maybe the, the economic development department of the city starts to get involved and the library is involved and then also the cultural arts folks are involved and starting to see the the, 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 the big tent of maker fair do its work to um, really um, celebrate the making that's going on, you know, across many disciplines um, and through many channels. I'm interested to find out myself. I mean, I think the questions that are being asked are, are interesting. Um, and, and trying to be smart and strategic about where to invest uh, uh, that will um, address real needs and concerns like um, diversity or resilience and sustain sustainability. Um, these are big problems uh, and things we, we need to work on.